was the Asian American Iron Fist movie I'd always asked for, though, right? Because yeah, like that's what it ended up. Being. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the, that's, that's the story they I wrote instead of a Shang Chi story. Yeah, because like <laughs> Shang Chi was essentially Danny Rand, right? Like he's like yeah. this guy yeah. who because. I'm not super familiar with Shang-Chi, Brittany. I know he's, you, you love the comics character. But as far as I know, he's a very street level Oh, yeah, hero. yeah. No, um, I, I loved it a lot. I felt like the adding the like, more mystical elements that are more Iron Fist thing worked really well with what they're going for, especially with when you kind of also take into mind what they're doing with the MCU as a whole going forward. So I feel like them leaning into more, let's make him more mystical works. But like I said, the, like I, this is what I didn't, that's why I kind of mentioned in my post, like I want to say my thoughts for the pod is because I very much felt that this is the like, care and attention that like Danny Rand should have got. And so that was the only kind of downside for me with this movie is it made me think like, well, shit, why didn't they do this with, you know, Danny Rand? Like he's such a great character and, uh, so that kind of made me a little bit sad, but I'm like, you know, it's okay if the actual like Asian character got like <laughs> the love and care and attention that, you know, should have been given time because it's okay. You know, but, I mean, they, they, like it's almost like they pulled whole cloth from like the Iron Fist story though, right? Because like, again, Shang Chi is yeah. just really good at Kung Fu in the comics. Yes. It's like, that's basically, what, and then he's like a spy, which mm -hmm. I'll speak more of later. But then, you know, like the, the pieces that, that I felt like you know, we're never part of Shang-Chi's stories. They're like, you know, he, get, he derives his power from the heart of the dragon. <laughs> and he like, there's this mystical Chinese mythological yeah. place that only like enters Talo. our dimension every couple of years. It was very, yeah, Talo is very much Kunlun though in this, right? Talo, like, yeah. who are these who are these mystical beings and and who, who give their power to the Iron Fist? And it's just like, huh. And you know, the whole, but um, that said, like, I guess that's, that's why am I looking at gift horse in the mouth, right? Or a gift guardian lion in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Like, this is the movie that I was asking for in 2014 when I started AA Iron Fist. And I, so in that sense, right, both cases with the Asian American snake eyes and the Asian American Iron Fist just disguised as Shang-Chi. I got everything I wanted seven years ago. I should just shut down the nerds of color now. <laughs> Well, if that's really the subject of this podcast, that was a weird way to get to it. But uh, yeah. we're announcing if you, if the end of the Nerds of Color. Guys. If, if you think we've won and there's nothing else to do, I mean, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> we've stopped Asian hate. Yeah, we are good. I, yeah, I, I, I mean, mean, this is why we became friends in the first place was because I was agreeing with you that they should update Danny Rand to being Asian American and it would make the most sense. And that's how we ended up on this journey together. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's look at that point, because I mean, I, I want to talk about the spy aspect, too. But like, you know, at, at that point in time, we we're kind of trying to shoehorn, like, kind of sidle our way into the Marvel narrative in, in a way that would, you know, center an Asian American actor, basically, through, it, through this, you know, conceptual Asian American Iron Fist, which didn't right. happen. Mm -hmm. And you now it's just uh, a new way of looking at it. It's not it's not like we like like sort of sideways back into the story. It's our story. I think it's yeah. very much for for us. I mean, and I think us that, being Asian Americans, what also they Asians did and everybody, but instead of making Iron Fist Asian American, what they ended up doing was making Shang Chi Asian American and like mystical, right? Like to give us like that's what they that's how they backed into like the A Iron Fist of it all, right? Like because again, Shang Chi was never a mystical superhero in the comics, and then. You know, he was never really well, Asian American well, more in the recent, comics. Right? He's more recently with okay. This is what I know about the comics, and someone can add. But the Jin Yang stuff. Well, yeah, I, I mean, he has a they adds a lot of Mandarin and backstory and magical powers in in recent comics, especially by Jin Yang. But also, I would say, like, I I think originally he was conceived much in the Bruce Lee and Enter the Dragon vein, and there was a lot more secret Asian stuff. And I think that's the cool thing that they deviated from here because it would have been a little too easy to have him just be this badass guy who works for some government agency like shield or something that would have been a little trite in the way it would take away from you know the real asian american guy story you know we, we have plenty of people in marvel universe who are just like super well-trained secret agents you know like mm -hmm. it, there's there's only so much more story we got there so i thought that was great that they went away from that side of it the enter the dragon model well that said i i will just say though that if uh and marvel if you're listening if 
if they do take Jimmy Wu and give him the Agents of Atlas storyline and let him run a secret organization and, and do all that stuff, I would yeah. totally be down. For yeah, well, yeah, and I'm and happy it, to write it, Marvel, if you're listening. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I, hear I you. think yeah. they're going to. Is Isn't that confirmed that, that he's gonna? They're gonna do Agents wasn't of Atlas. That, didn't someone like tweet that they had like their own uh, concept of how to like pitch that show and they pitched it to Marvel? I think when Wandavision well, came out, someone someone on yeah. a screenwriter on Twitter said like, "I have this Agents of Atlas pitch." And, Maybe Randall Park co-signed it, but I don't know how far but along I, the process is. But is, yeah, but if I it know wasn't confirmed it was before, and they, it's, I mean, this is the kind of the this kind of opening weekend is the kind of thing that means yeah. it will be confirmed. Mar- Marvel's got seventy-one million dollars to to justify it. Well, you know, the thing is that I feel like for Phase Four and beyond, instead of Jimmy Woo being the Phil Coulson of mm-hmm. this next, it looks like they're using Wong as the kind of like bridge between you know to pull all these oh. superheroes together because Wong plays a big role here in this movie of uh recruiting essentially Shang-Chi and Katie for some reason yes. and for <laughs> listeners here's where <laughs> the actual spoilers start <laughs> oh sorry well <laughs> again they they're not listening they I told them I turn I'm off just, your podcast I'm just, saying, I'm just trying to mark my own path in the narrative of this <laughs> but, podcast to keep but Wong's Wong's presence in the movie at least isn't uh, a secret because he's in the trailer mm-hmm. and you know there was a, all of this like speculation is that sorcerer Wong in the in the trailer and then he like showed up at the premiere. Yeah, yeah no, I, I it, it was just missing Jimmy Wu, you know. Yeah, well, I agree. God, you are really on like the it's got to be perfect angle. <laughs> the, man, this is what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> oh my God, it's not an A plus movie. Wow. Yeah, it All doesn't represent flaws. my specific experience. All the so flaws. It must be. Yeah, no, that's true. Like that's I is complain when people do that. Good there are a lot of flaws. <laughs> Well, there are many we'll flaws. Get, many flaws. We'll get into the flaws. We'll about get the into flaws. The flaws. But like <laughs> Jimmy Woo wasn't in it. That's, that's a bad move. That's <laughs> he wasn't fucking yeah. available. Okay. <laughs> oh come on, Randall Park. He's always available. That guy doesn't. Oh, okay, well I guess the movie sucks because you know, that's, 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 I mean that's that's true. Movies suck because they don't have Randall Park in them. They should they should. Well, I think that's have Randall Park in them. But, every movie should have Randall. But, uh, what that, about Elodie Young? She she could have been in it. They could have they could have worked the hand into it. Oh man! Yeah, like, oh, you mean Electra? Okay. <laughs> I just yeah, we, I have a question. I forgot yeah. she's in the movie. Uh, she's in the universe. Yes, Brittany. I feel like Dom might know more than I. Okay, I don't know if I made this up in a fever dream or whatever, but I'm pretty. I felt like I read a Shang Chi comic where his dad is actually the leader of the Hand. Uh, I think I, they I did do like, that once. I feel like I read that somewhere, oh, or um, I just like totally head candid it once uh, out of like, something else I read. I, or there is, yeah, I I think they've messed with his dad origin at least six times at this yeah, point. Yeah, he's, he's like the leader of the hand. And <laughs> Plus, stuff. they mess with the origins of the hand, like some like they yeah. change it so like Daredevil can take it over and Black Panther or the can take over or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's there's a, there's something there. He does get connected with the hand in at least some storyline. Okay, but, that's but what he, I was thinking. I but but yeah, again the those those that hand in electra stuff is is still in the netflix marvel universe struggling to cross over someday yeah the multiverse hasn't quite broken enough raymond for it has electra broken through the movie. netflix wall whatever that is i don't know but Reboot it will iron fist though please well they did and they called it shang chi <laughs> this yeah, was their yeah, this was their iron fist reboot